Hello. Today we will be conducting a lab that simulates how water and land differ in the speed in which they heat up or cool down. The name of this lab is Solar Energy. The materials that you will need include sand, water, two heat lamps, two thermometers, and two styrofoam cups. This lab covers the sunshine state standard that explains how energy provided by the sun influences global patterns of atmospheric movement and the temperature differences between air, water, and land. The inquiry question for this lab is, using the materials presented to you, devise an experiment to determine if water or land will heat up the fastest. Which one will cool down the slowest? Explain why. The conclusion statement for this lab is, water takes more time to change in temperature than land does because of its physical properties. Now we will begin the lab. First, you want to ask your students the inquiry question and provide them with the materials they will need. This activity does take a while since heat energy is lost in the air and the surrounding environment. This means it will take a while for your students to gather observable results. To start, simply pour some sand into one of the styrofoam cups. And pour water into the other one. Next, you want to set up your thermometers near the surface and record the temperature that is given. Now make sure you record the data that you just derived from the temperatures of both of the sand and the water. So now we're going to take the sand and put it underneath hot lamp one. We're going to take the water. And if you can set the heat lamps up in a position where they can last for up to 24 hours, that's optimal, uh, and record during the next class period. Throughout the lab, you want your students to record heats at the beginning and at regular increments of time for each of the different mediums. They can then use this data to mathematically derive the rate of increase of temperature over time in each bin. Some possible questions you can ask include, what were the temperatures of the mediums at all times you recorded? Why did these mediums collect heat over different periods or intervals? This concludes today's lab. Thank you for joining us, and we hope to see you next time.